Bright blessings, adventurers, and welcome to the next video in a four-part series about elemental observances. In the practice of magic, one must have a firm grasp on the concept of the elements. You must know the elements inside and out, you must know their qualities, and you must see them in action all around you in your daily life. So, what are the elements? They are, in clockwise order, based upon their direction, air, fire, water, and earth. Today, we are going to be focusing on the element of fire. The direction of fire is south, and its color is red. It embodies the qualities of warmth and dryness. Think about the, think about the heat from a wildfire, or the exploding of a volcano, or even the heat you feel off of a light bulb. These are examples of the element of fire in your everyday life. Now, I fully realize that other traditions will vary widely in the names of the elements, the compass directions associated, as well as the associated color. My interpretations are based upon ceremonial magic, specifically the Kabbalah. This does not make my interpretation any better or worse, simply the choice that I have made. Next, I want to teach you a short elemental observance that will only take a minute, seasoned with some flavor from my Wiccan tradition of Tawatha de Dinan. First, stand tall and face the south. Take a deep cleansing breath and picture yourself standing there, completely imbued with the color red. Imagine yourself immersed in the feelings of warmth and dryness. Next, perform the sign of the enterer. What that is, is you take a deep breath, you bow, and you pull your hands up next to your head in a pointed motion like that. Then, you thrust your hands forward, and at the same time, step forward with your left foot and, and uh, let all of your breath out explosively. The mystical sign of the Enterer dates back thousands of years to ancient Egypt and uh, hints at that culture's reference for the Apis Bull. Then we're going to perform the observance. First, we make the sign of the element of fire. In this case, it's the upraised triangle above your head like this. And we see, and we say, Hail unto thee who are Bodhi in thy triumphing, even unto thee who are Bodhi in thy beauty, who travelest over the heavens in thy bark at the mid-course of the sun. Lu standeth in his splendor at the prow, and Manana Maklur abideth by the helm. Hail unto thee from the abodes of the morning. That's the body of the ritual. And then you make the sign of silence. You stamp the ground hard with your left foot and you bring your left finger up to your lips in a shushing motion. And that's the sign of silence. In a moment here, I'm gonna put all three parts together and show it to you. So now I'm gonna put all three parts together. Hail unto thee who art Bodhi in thy triumphing, even unto thee who art Bodhi in thy beauty, who travelest over the heavens in thy bark at the mid course of the sun. Lu standeth in his splendor at the prow, and Manana Makhlil abideth by the helm. Hail unto thee from the abodes of the morning. And that was the video. That's the uh, full elemental observance of fire to be performed around midday. Thank you. Thank you for tuning in to my video today about the elemental observance of fire. Um, the ideas that I gained from uh, learning this uh, little elemental observance comes from the book Modern Magic by Donald Michael Craig. If you go to my website, changeyourstatusquo.com, uh, that's changeyourstatusquo.com, um, I have a link to that book as well as other books. Uh, hats like this. Uh, I have a merch store as well as other ideas for how to uh, start your own business. There's a lot of content there to explore so go take a look please. Also I'm in business for myself uh, doing Instacart 
My referral code is dconnors32191 if anyone else wants to join up. All right. Merry meet, everybody. Have a great day, and uh, tune in for the next in the series of videos. Thank you.